Hi everyone, it's Cherie from 12 by 12 Cardstock Shop and today we're going to be doing a title which was a freebie from treasureboxdesigns.com. If you look in the left hand column, you'll see a highlighted word called freebie. She does change her freebies every week. So today we're gonna be doing the title, Super Mom. But today we're gonna turn this title into a tag. I know that a lot of people are new to scrapbooking or they don't scrapbook and a tag can be used for so many different things. So my base blue is going to be Blue Topaz by Encore and the white is American Crafts just because I had an overabundance of it. I am slowly transitioning most of my paper to the Encore line just because I love how it cuts and it is a little more cost efficient. All of my supplies came from 12by12cardstockshop.com. So with your base, the blue, you'll lay your smaller base, which is the white on top. And I did use Barely Art glue. I did run all of my letters through my sticker maker just because it makes it easier for me and for video purposes so I can focus on making sure I don't miss an important step. So my pink diamond, way back when, if you guys remember, about a year ago, I did the cutest little mermaid with the tail. That was ombre. I dug that paper out since I bought the pack. It's called Sunset Multicolor Glitter by Encore. And I'll hold the sheet up that I used because they come with several sheets in the pack. I believe you get two of each color and there's five different colors that all have ombre. Now we all have glitter paper some way some form this glitter paper i used from encore it is ruby red glitter Lux cardstock by encore and the gold is going to be gold coin Lux cardstock by encore so if you go to 12 by 12 cardstock shop.com and you just type in ruby red it will pull up the red glitter paper for you and if you pull up or if you type in gold coin it'll pull the gold up for you now you see darker letters above the piece that I'm working and that's because I'm going to show you guys another set of options for letters because our pieces are just an idea, a base. You can copy it exactly how you see it or you can change it up. That is going to be a thicker thread I'm using. You can use Baker's Twine, a thin yarn. You can use a lot of things for the string itself even elastic that would work perfectly but i'm going to use um, embroidery thread it's a little thicker than regular thread just because i'm going to use a smaller hole now make sure you glue the word super on first because the word mom is going to go over it it will overlap slightly but not much and as you can see there's little divots in your bottom pieces of the paper so you know where to line it up the beginning and the end have the majority of it as far as the little swoop on the bottom. And here's the other alternate options you can use. And the two colors you see pictured are Oscar by Coordinations Couture. And the red is going to be Red Carpet by Coordinations Couture. So if you just once again type in Red Carpet, it will pull up the glitter paper for you. And the word Oscar will pull up the yellow. The thing with that versus glitter paper is they have glitter bits incorporated into textured cardstock versus the glitter added to the top of the cardstock. If you do cut out glitter cardstock, I've been scrapbooking for 20 years and I found to save my blade, I dedicate one mat to my glitter paper. I put my glitter paper face down I mirror my image, that way it doesn't cut out backwards where I can't use the letters. And I know that's gonna be probably an intermediate thing. You can use it face up for now if you're beginning scrapbooking, don't worry about it. I end up getting the cheaper blades from amazon.com because I think I get 60 to 80 for $11 for my Cricut Cut versus spending $12 for two in any of the stores for name brand. So now for this, you will need a paper punch or you can use a crocodile. I have mine, I just couldn't find it. I usually use my crocodile, as you can see, I was struggling. This is the We Are Memory Keepers paper punch. And I completely forgot that it was supposed to go between the two slits, but I wanted to show. There's sometimes we have tools that we don't get around to for a long time. And we still, you know, have to fidget with things to get it to work. 
And here I'm running in my thicker thread because we're gonna turn this title into a tag for a bag. There are a lot of new girls on the design team, so make sure you're following 12 by 12 Cardstock Shop's Facebook, and they also have Instagram and YouTube. We all bring different things to the table. Any questions, let us know, and thank you for watching.